If you are soon to deliver your baby, imagine those first moments holding her on your chest. Take your time to cuddle her as she begins to search for your breast. Her highly developed sense of smell searches for the scent of your milk, which is unique in each mother and familiar only to her own baby. For this was the same unique fragrance your baby has known for months while bathing in your protective amniotic fluid. By instinct, breastfeeding right after delivery is the way all newborns of all mammals give protection to their young and prevent serious feeding problems such as having too little milk. It's this first hour that's most important. Your baby has been held all of her life. Contact with you is exactly what she needs. Nothing's more important than a mother's touch. How you can use your hands to help with breastfeeding is what you'll learn here. You can remember three easy points. Let's call them A, B, and C. How can you help her latch onto the breast comfortably and effectively? Let's call this A, attachment. This is important. You see, the way a baby gets milk from a breast is not by using the nipple as a straw, but by using her jaw and tongue to massage underneath the nipple. The nipple is protected far back in her mouth and milk is easily expressed. If the nipple is closer to the lips, it becomes compressed and less milk is expressed. Many babies manage this without any help, especially when given uninterrupted time on their mother's chest right after birth. Others, and this is very normal, need a little hands-on help to gently guide the breast comfortably back mm -hmm. into yeah, her mouth. Just like that, squeeze a little colostrum out of there for her. Beautiful. Love you that. can use your hands to support your baby and your breast. Beautiful. One hand shapes your breast to fit easily into her mouth. The other hand guides her to the breast just when she is ready with a wide open mouth so she can easily latch on to the breast and not just the nipple. How can you make sure you produce a rich supply of milk to feed her? Let's call this B for breast milk. It is the frequent expression of drops of early milk beginning in the first hour that trigger your milk supply to increase in several days. The critical sign to your breast to make a lot of milk later on is to remove the small amount of first milk early and frequently. You can make sure this happens with unlimited holding, nursing, and hand expression. Combining these works nicely. How can you make sure she is getting enough of your milk? Let's call this C for calories. For most protection, babies take frequent small feedings of early milk before your supply increases. Early weight loss is normal and will be followed in the hospital. Weight gain and bright yellow breast milk poops should be expected by day five. You can never breastfeed too often. If she still needs more, even after you've nursed her well, she will show you by continuing to suck even after you've taken her off the breast or put her down. Don't worry, you can help her. To prevent more than normal weight loss or jaundice, or just to make her a bit more content. Either feed her again or finish the feed with dessert from a spoon. Feed her until she is perfectly content. This simple remedy will not interfere with her breastfeeding and will give her more milk and signal your breast to make more milk. The more frequent, the better. Once your supply increases, she will take all she needs while breastfeeding. Yeah. One last thing. Sometimes things don't go exactly as you had hoped for. For mothers who are separated from their babies or have problems with attachment, this first hour matters the most. Remember, 
the critical signal to your breast to make lots of milk later on is to remove milk early and frequently. Your partner can help you get started. Push down and relax. Isn't that beautiful? Now, shall I show, show us how you do it on this side? Okay. Remember? Because the hormones of delivery make hand expression easiest during this hour, the signal is very strong. Another pair of helpful hands can be really valuable. Use your hands and do just what your baby would do. Remove the precious small amounts of milk from each breast. The more frequent, the better. Alternate right breast for a minute, then left, then back to right, and so on. Use the same press, compress, relax technique. Don't worry about collecting every drop because the more milk out in the first hour, the more milk in as milk increases. A small towel with the extra drops can be placed beside your baby's face as a calming reminder of you. Whatever milk you do manage to collect, ask to have this given to your baby as soon as possible. Keep expressing every two to three hours. This is how you place your order for a good milk supply in the future when your baby is ready to breastfeed. Of course, you can't know exactly how your own delivery will go. But one thing is for sure. Simply by using your hands in the first hour, you can accomplish these three goals. A, attachment. Help your baby with a comfortable and effective latch. B, breast milk production. Signal your breast to make plenty of milk under any circumstances. And C, calories. Make sure your baby receives that first milk when it comes most easily. Understanding just these points is pretty simple and exactly what matters most from the very first hour. My goal in making this app is to help more mothers love their breastfeeding experience and to really treasure it and so that years later they look back at this time of their life as truly important not just for their baby but for themselves as well.